front of the retail store here in Mendocino in a little village. What we're basically doing is selling music, both instruments and recorded music, and we have a lot of local art here. We're trying to keep the local artists fed by having our pieces here, which is probably some of the most beautiful things you can see around here. And um, taking care of the neighborhood is one of the things that I do, taking care of the people in the neighborhood is foremost also. <laughs> there, that's how this came about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Deadheads. Yes. Seriously, I'm not kidding you. <laughs> <laughs> money that my wife had had together and we just started doing this. So luckily most of the stuff here is uh, consignment so we don't have to buy it quite out. So that's really helpful for us. I don't have any. I got myself set up that I don't compete with anybody. I want to make sure that I don't sell anything that anybody else does. And I want to make sure that anybody that comes to you here doesn't care what I care. So, really, no, 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 no. Yeah, got it set up that way. First, I have an idea of what I want, and then I listen to people. A lot of times I have musical instruments and I say, why don't you carry a mandolin? Carry mandolin. Why don't you carry violin strings? Carry my violin strings. Pay attention. Yeah. Didn't eat as many steaks. <laughs> Just ten bell, really. And it hung in there. So I always see a lot of other businesses fold up here. I just hung on and I was lucky that the locals kept me alive. Sure. Appreciate that. Plus, the owner of this place had, ended up having, having my friend to just, just to keep me here. Price. <laughs> the price. <laughs> That's really it. I, I call it a box of frogs around here. We're always jumping around to see where we can find the best price. That's why a lot of businesses change. But I finally got the spot. I'm not moving. This is it. Yeah. This is unique because I have this art you don't find in Colorado, you don't find in...